Good afternoon, Hawk fans. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Hawk Talk. We hope everyone had a great homecoming week and is ready for corner tests, which are already underway. Our first clip today is some test taking tips from our resident school expert, Tyler Nicolini. Hello there, Hawks. How's everyone doing this afternoon? I'm here today to give you some testing tips that I've found successful throughout my highly effective school career so far. Tip one, get as much sleep as possible, including during school. Teachers love when I take naps during class. Tip two, study as little as possible. You don't want to fill up your brain and be all stuffed up when you take your test. Tip three, the answer is always C, even if it's an essay question. Tip four, homework is for the kids who don't already know the answers. You don't need to do it. Tip five, always write in pen. You never need a number two pencil while taking a test. Tip six, if you don't know the answer, look at the person's paper next to you. It's like studying, but better. Check your answers by looking at the person next to you. Tip seven, never go with your gut. Even if you're like me, it's filled with pizza, not answers. Tip eight, PSAT stands for put sleeping above test. They obviously know what they're talking about. Thank you for listening, Hawks. If you follow my tips, you can be just like me. Tyler, we're so lucky to have such a good student on staff. So today we have some shadows with us. So right here we have Caden Clubber and Austin South and Jacob Stricker. And they all go to OLO. We're so happy to see them here today. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thank you. Have a fun rest of the day. So this is the front. It says Hand and Hawks with the athletic symbol on it. And then the other side, we'll have to cut this off. Says Let's Go Hawks with the H on it. Let me model for you. Very stylish. Great to wear the massage your game. <laughs> and especially if winter is like it was You're last year, it's very frigid. These, I think these amazing. are permitted to wear to school. So yes, get you a scarf from the soccer team. $20. Perfect. 25. What? Wasn't it 25 Yeah, it's $25. Oh, excuse me. $25. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our next segment comes from a team over at Hawk Center and highlights from Thursday, Thursday night's football game. Welcome to Hawk Center, Hawks. Our fall sports are in full swing and having a lot of success. And finally, here's a look at the Hawks' recent district game against Jules Stone. Coach Labatt made a bet with Gentry Sphinx, and here they are to explain the aftermath. So today, uh, I'm going to be paying up on a bet that I lost uh, to Junior Gentry Sphinx. I'm Coach Labatt. I bet Gentry that if she won the Powder Puff game, if the Juniors won the Powder Puff game, that she could shave uh, my beard and leave nothing but long sideburns. So. We have this, it's on, and uh, Gentry is now gonna attempt not to kill me. Oh. <laughs> Careful. Let's get going. <laughs> oh. 
Different angles. Need to go deep. Need part to go deep. Need part to go deep. Ow! Got hair in my eye. Oh, that's why you close them. I am going to close my eye. I have you in front of me. It's weird. Wait, just one loose one. <laughs> he What else do you want from me? I don't even know what I look like yet. Third general spatial box. It doesn't look bad. What? <laughs> it looks kind of normal. Feels really weird. Okay. Our next clip is some interviews from around campus with our on-site reporter, Tyler Nicolini. What's up, Bill? What's up? You like hands so far? Yes, I do. Good. Okay. Alright, I have a question. What is it? How many months have 28 days? Hold on. I mean, no, no, there's more. All of them. Yes. What's up, Patrick? Nothing much, Tyler. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I have a question. Alright. Which weighs more, a pound of feathers or a pound of nails? I think they... Pound of nails. No. Yeah, I know. It's a pound of feathers. No. Both. Yes, because they're both equal a pound. Okay. Gavin. Gavin, what you eating? I'm eating some nuggets, bro. All right. I have a question. What is it? What can you hold without touching at all? Um. I have no clue. I don't know. He doesn't know. I guess air. Oh, there. A conversation. Oh, that's a good one, man. Good job. Thanks, man. And finally, here are some highlights from last week's homecoming week. Another successful homecoming week in the Book Hawks. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend, Hawks, and we'll see you next week. Okay. Oh, I got it. Okay. Ooh. I didn't even try it. Okay, when you started, I'm sorry. It's okay, Louie. You've had a rough day. Yeah. <laughs> Just start. Hey. You've had a rough weekend, I get it. <laughs> I can't say that word. That is a big word. Team <laughs> tips that I found successful throughout my highly effective. <laughs> Tip four. Homework. Alright, never mind. Tip four. Homework is for kids who don't already know the. Oh no, the answers. Oh my god, Jesus. <laughs> this is hard. Alright.
How many months have 28 days? Where did love go? When all is yes. I have no clue. I don't know. He doesn't know. I guess. Over at Hawk Center. With some highlights from the volleyball. Oh, you guys. I think you're redoing it. I was making fish face. I was doing this other. You know what? I got fish. It's fine. It's fine. Some interviews from around here. Okay, our next clip is from students around campus. Oh my god! Yeah. You were laughing. Have a great weekend, Hawks, and we'll see you. Don't do that.